Welcome back. We're here in the Fox 61 by Carrier Kitchen with Michael Tress, the chef and owner of Craft Kitchen in Plainville. Mike, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having us. Well, you just brought out this beautiful piece of salmon from the fish. Uh, excuse me, piece of salmon from the fridge. So we're going to be making that. And we're also going to be talking about things to keep in mind if you want to get when you want to get salmon from the grocery store because sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming when you're talking about different types, farm raised, you know, wild caught, things like that. What do we need to keep in mind as we look at this beautiful piece right here? I mean, this is just gorgeous. So typically what you look for is something sustainable that isn't farm raised. You want to yeah. grab something. This is a Faroe Island salmon. Mm -hmm. We get this right from Gulf Shrimp in Southington. Mm -hmm. And it's as fresh as can be. But some of the things that you look for when you're buying salmon mm -hmm. is the color. You want it to right. be nice and, and dark, deep color. Right. And really fresh salmon almost smells like watermelon. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, it gives you That's like a little Interesting. Almost. I've never heard that before. Yeah. But that's a good tip to keep in mind. So fresh salmon should smell a bit like watermelon. And just a little tinge, okay. yeah. That's the most common thing. Good to know. All right. All right, so we've got that. Now what's next here? So we're going to take the skin off this. And you can get this already filleted at the grocery store, obviously. But we're just going to peel this back. Well, you make that look really, really easy. I've <laughs> done it a few times. <laughs> yes. Now, for folks at home, if you're if you're doing a smaller piece, it might be a little bit, I suppose, it might be a little bit easier. Yeah. Or does it make it harder when you're working with smaller pieces? Well, it depends. Like, if you're doing a whole side, you could stuff this whole side if you wanted, if you had a bunch of people. Okay. But typically, that's what we're going to do is, like, eight-ounce portions. And you can get them already portioned up from right. the seafood section right, right, or if right. you go to a good fish market. Mm -hmm. So, so we got those portioned up. We're going to season it up a little bit? Yeah. So what we're going to do is a pineapple and ginger snap crust. Mm -hmm. and we're going to bake it. It's a little bit different. You know, instead of your typical salmon dishes with butters and yeah. herbs and whatnot. So we're going to do a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab this, which is our crushed up ginger snaps. And then I just grilled a little bit of pineapple. You could just puree a regular pineapple, whatever you feel like doing. Mm, this is interesting. Definitely getting that sweetness to it. I like that. And then you just mix this up. Well, you're mixing that up. And Alex is over there. He's mixing up one of your new cocktails because you just have a new spring cocktail menu, right? That's the yeah, we're actually launching a, another location in Southington. We're moving our original location into a bigger building in downtown Plantsville. Alex is going to head our bar team down there. And we put together some awesome cocktails. Well, what is that friend. that he just made? Because it looks really refreshing with those strawberries in there. So that is our uh, strawberry rhubarb Collins mm. with an elderflower fizz. Mm. Awesome, super refreshing, right for this time of year. He's also making a bur uh, brown sugar bourbon old fashioned. Yeah. Which is a little bit different from your typical old fashioned. This uses a honey liqueur instead of doing a simple syrup. Uh-huh. And then we give it a smoke then treatment. Then smoke, yeah. Yeah, so That's this is a quite hickory. That's quite the setup there, very cool. Hickory smoke treatment really very ties it all neat. together. All right, so we've got our salmon all dressed and we're just popping that in the oven. That's it, and it goes in for like 20 minutes. Okay. And then we are gonna make our green beans to go with. Super simple. Well, we might be running out of time for that. Okay. We, I, will, I want good. to show viewers the final product of that salmon. Oh, of course. Because I really want to get a good look at <laughs> the topping there <laughs> once that is all finished. So this is that, that flavor. That is so cool. Ginger pineapple. With the ginger snaps. Just a little different I'm bite. grab a fork Absolutely. real quick over here and tell our viewers what you have going on for Mother's Day. Watch out top. <laughs> Uh, Mother's Day, we're doing a brunch in Plainville at our location in Plainville, 400 New Britain Ave. Mm. And we are, um, we're going to have a couple seatings, 11 o'clock and 1.30. And we have, uh, I believe you have a picture of our menu up there for that. It's a special menu for Mother's Day. And this is going to be one of the items. We'll also do our signature um, eggs benedict, different things, mm -hmm. carving station of filet mignon. You name mm. it. We've got a whole menu all planned out. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be hot. <laughs> Talk too much. But I love the ginger snaps. It's so good. I've never tasted anything like that. It's something different, It is right? a real treat. <laughs> That's awesome. It really is. Mike, thank you so much. Anytime. Thank you for having this us. This is really great. And I really like the tips about smelling like watermelon for that really fresh cut of salmon. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're I appreciate welcome. it.